Let's get started by setting up an empty project. I'm going to use Create React app for this lesson since it makes setting up a simple project really easy. Now let's go ahead and open up a text editor. We'll want to add Test Cafe to our application, which I'll install with Yarn here. So there's two different ways to configure your Test Cafe tests. One is passing options through the command line, and the other is programmatically inside of a JavaScript module. Today, we're going to use a JavaScript file to create our test runner. This file can be called anything, really. I'm going to name it testcafe.conf.js and place it in the root of our project. We need to require the test cafe package so that we can create the test cafe class. We'll initialize this class with a optional default host and optional default port to be used by the runner. We're using localhost for our host and just in a minute we're going to start up the dev server to point to our React app. Okay, now that we have our dev server up and running, we can try writing our first test. Calling Create Test Cafe returns a promise that resolves with a Test Cafe instance. Um, we use this instance to create and configure our runner. Um, we also want to make sure we store a reference to that instance so that we can call it again um, later in the process. We get our runner object by calling Test Cafe Create Runner. Now we want to tell it what test file we are testing with source and what browser we're going to use. For this lesson's purposes, we are going to use Chrome. And lastly, we just need to tell it to run. This also returns a promise, which resolves with the number of failed specs. And we also give it the option to close the test when we're all finished. And just to be thorough, we're going to add a catch block to make sure we can log any errors that may happen. Now let's create a spec file and add a test to it. I also wanted to mention Test Cafe comes with TypeScript built in. So we're going to use TS for our file extensions and some of the TypeScript. Let's see, for our test, let's verify the header text of our page, which says, welcome to React. We're going to write a test that checks if welcome to React is in the H1 tag with the app title class. First, we need to import the selector object from Test Cafe which lets us locate DOM elements using CSS selectors. We then create a fixture, which is the starting point for a group of tests. We give it a name, and we tell it what page do we want to start this test on. We want to start our test on localhost port 3000, and we'll start our test with the test function, which takes the name of your test as the first parameter, um, and the second parameter is an asynchronous callback. The test controller is what we use to access the Test Cafe API for this test run. So pretty much every method on the test controller returns a promise. So we're going to use async await here, um, and we're going to expect the selector with the class app title. We want it to equal welcome to React. Now we can go ahead and run our test. Uh, oops, but first we need to add a run script to our package.json. Let's just call this E2E, and we're just gonna call node on our testcafe.conf.js. Um, now we can now we can run this. And it looks like I have a typo somewhere. So let me go ahead and fix that.
and let's rerun the test. And we should see a browser window opening up and sounding our test. And there we go. And there we have a passing test. We made sure welcome to React was displayed in the H1 tag. And that's exactly what is there. Now let's change what's in that H1 tag and rerun this test so we can see what a failing test looks like. So there we see a failing test. We have a stack trace and it tells me what it should have been and what is actually there. 